Hi, my name is Philip King. Welcome to this tutorial series on writing a WordPress plugin. Since each of the tutorials in this series builds on each other, I recommend you progress through the tutorials in the order they are presented. All of the code for these video tutorials will be shown in the videos, but obviously you cannot copy the code using cut and paste from a video. So a text version of the code, along with articles to accompany the video series, is available on my website. The link is shown below. This lesson is part of the series covering the WordPress administration menus and options pages. In a prior video, I demonstrated the very basics of how to make an administration menu by producing a plugin which added a submenu and admin page to the existing WordPress settings menu. In this lesson, we will go a step further and demonstrate how to create a custom top level menu with two submenus. We will also add submenus to the settings and tools top level menus. With this information, you will have all the knowledge you need to produce your own admin menus for your plugins. In the next lesson, I will demonstrate how to save your admin options to the database and expand upon the text to hyperlink example. So, in this lesson, we will create the following menu items. A new submenu for both the settings and tools top level menus. A new custom top level menu containing two sub level menus. An options page for each menu item. Once again, we will follow the three steps discussed in previous lessons to create these WordPress admin menus. Step one in the process is to create a function that contains the menu building code, PK add pages in this example. This contains the five function calls whose purpose is to add the various menus we require to the dashboard menu structure. Function add options page will add the submenu PK test settings to the settings top level menu and call the PK test settings page to display the options page. Function add management page will add the submenu PK test tools to the tools top level menu and call the PK test tools page to display the options page. Function add menu page specifically creates a new top level menu section in the dashboard admin menu sidebar. We will use this function to add the top level menu PK test top level to the dashboard admin menu structure and call the PK test top level page function to display the related options page. Unless you have a very good reason to add a top level menu, WordPress recommends placing your menus within the existing dashboard structure. Notice you could designate an icon and menu position within the menu structure, but I would recommend simply accepting the default. The two function calls to add a submenu page will add the submenus test sublevel 1 and test sublevel 2 to our custom top level menu. Options pages PK sublevel 1 page and PK sublevel 2 page will be called when actioned. In step 2, we simply register the above function PK add pages using the admin menu action hook. Notice this is simply an add action interrupt function once again. In step 3, we create the HTML code for the pages to be displayed when menu items are clicked. This step is actioned by the five functions PK test settings page, PK test tools page, PK test top level page, PK sub level 1 page, and PK sub level 2 page. In this example, we simply output the menu name in HTML on each options page. There is a point worth noting here. Each function should always check to see if the user has permission to view each of the options pages before doing anything else. But for clarity, I've included the necessary if statement in the PK test settings page only. This code, when inserted into our plugin class template, will add the top level menu and sub level menu items as indicated. When selected, each menu item will display its customs options page which in this instance just contains the menu name. OK, let's see the code in action. Once again, I'll be using PDT Eclipse as my code editor in this exercise. 
First we need to create a class for this plugin. So copy the PK plugin class template we created previously to a new folder in the WP Content Plugins folder and give it the name PK Admin Menu 0v2. Enter a folder name of PK Admin Menu 0v2. Now we need to rename the PHP file. So open our new plugin folder and rename the PK plugin class.php file to PK admin menu 0v2.php. Remember the plugin file has to have the same name as the folder with the PHP extension. Then open the file ready for editing. The first thing we need to do with our new plugin is enter a new plugin name and description so that WordPress will recognize the plugin. We now need to create a more appropriate class name. This is simply a case of renaming all the occurrences of the PK plugin template class to PK admin menu 0v2 class. There are six changes to be made. I'm just going to use find and replace for this task. Now that we have our plugin class, we need an instance of that class. So change the template instance PK plugin demo to a more appropriate name PK admin menu 0v2 demo. Next, we need to hook our menu building function into WordPress. So enter the add action hook for the admin menu call just after the placeholder comment to do enter plugin actions and filters here. Now enter the menu building function PK add pages just after the placeholder comment to do enter action and filter methods here. Continue by entering the function which will actually display the HTML code containing our menu options. With the code entered, let's save the file and see what happens in WordPress. Log into WordPress as the administrator and navigate to Dashboard Plugins Installed Plugins and check the plugin has been recognized but is inactive. Activate the plugin, open the Tools menu item and there at the bottom of the menu is our menu item. Select the PK Tools menu item and our almost blank PK demo plugin page is shown along with our message. Just the menu title in each of these cases. This of course is where you would place your page of options, help information etc. Ok let's close the tools menu and open the settings menu item. At the bottom of this menu is our menu item PK test settings. Select the PK test settings menu item and once again our almost blank PK demo plugin page is shown along with the title of the menu. Close the menu when you're ready and select the PK test top level menu item. Again the title of the menu is shown on the options page as is the case when each of the submenu items is selected. Well everything worked as planned so it's time to clean things up and deactivate the plugin. With the plugin deactivated, let's just check that all our menu items have been removed. Hopefully this tutorial gave you a good insight into how simple an administration menu can be. In the next lesson, 
we will take our text to hyperlink tutorial a stage further, add a more complex admin interface and save our data to the WordPress database. Well, that's all for this tutorial on administration menus. See you in the next lesson.